I, I read this to you last year, and then I realized that I, that I was like upgraded version. Have you watched this before? No. Looking backwards. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. You have to trust in something. Your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. Because believing that the dots will connect down the road will give you the confidence to follow your heart even when it leads you off the well-worn path. And that will make all the difference. So world politics might be compared to the transition from war to peace or from poverty to prosperity. In the Middle East, Africa, and elsewhere, Albright wore the butterfly as a symbol of hope. That means I hope you land on your feet, and I hope you get your two bubbles, and I hope we hit our stuff. Right? And I hope we don't get hurt. Right, have a good day at school. See ya. Ready? I'm feeling it. Thank you. I'm uh, honored to be with you today for your commencement from one of the finest universities in the world. Truth be told, uh, I never graduated from college, and uh, this is the closest I've ever gotten to a college graduation. <laughs> The first story is about connecting the dots. I dropped out of Reed College after the first six months, but then stayed around as a drop-in for another 18 months or so before I really quit. So why did I drop out? It started before I was born. My biological mother was a young, unwed graduate student, and she decided to put me up for adoption. She felt very strongly that I should be adopted by college graduates, so everything was all set for me to be adopted at birth by a lawyer and his wife. Except that when I popped out, they decided at the last minute that they really wanted a girl. So my parents, who were on a waiting list, got a call in the middle of the night asking, we've got an unexpected baby boy, do you want him? They said, of course. My biological mother found out later that my mother had never graduated from college and that my father had never graduated from high school. She refused to sign the final adoption papers. She only relented a few months later when my parents promised that I would go to college. This was the start in my life. And 17 years later, I did go to college. But I naively chose a college that was almost as expensive as Stanford. And all of my working class parents' savings were being spent on my college tuition. After six months, I couldn't see the back. That was us. That was, was us. us. That was us. We continue to be the team. When you don't, when you came back from the majors last year, hey guys, and you had to be that team again, it's stressful. The heaviness of being successful is replaced with the lightness of being a beginner. It's easier to go into competitions when you have nothing to lose and everything to prove, right? Mm -hmm. so you have those two things going on at different times in the careers of both these teams. So you really spent all season last year pretty much down in the dumps, right? But yep. it's easier yeah. to be successful yeah. when people just started to just accept the fact that that was likely, <laughs> right? Yeah. So we can take chances, we can get out there, we can take risks, and it turned out working out. So the trick is we have to practice like the team that is failing and has things to prove, but have the confidence in the team that still Really is successful. Now listen to what happens. Do you understand? Yes. 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 Before. <laughs> and Maureen and I have a wonderful family together. Aww. I'm pretty sure none of this would have happened if I hadn't been fired from Apple. It was awful tasting medicine, but I guess the patient needed it. Sometime life, sometimes life's going to hit you in the head with a brick. Don't lose faith. I'm convinced that the only thing that kept me going was that I loved what I did. You've got to find what you love. And that is as true for work as it is for your lovers. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life, and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life, and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. 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 Love what you do.